This is an alternative method to obtaining a blood culture from a patient um, using a PIV catheter instead of a butterfly. This is helpful in very small people with very small veins. Um, the problem sometimes that we have with using a butterfly is when you insert that needle, sometimes you go all the way through the vein. And then when you try to get the blood back, nothing happens. The nice thing about using a PIV catheter is that after you insert that needle, then once you're in and you have flash, you can take that needle out and you only have a plastic catheter sitting in that vein. So the blood's gonna come out. So let me demonstrate. Since we're doing a blood culture, we would prepare our skin per our institution's policy. So here we go. Okay, I've got some flash. Perfect. So this is the interesting part. You might need somebody to help you, but um, you can also just manage this yourself pretty easily. So we're using a blunt cannula on a 10 cc syringe. And again, this is mostly for very small babies who have very small veins. So typically we need 2.5 to 5 cc's, which would work just fine with this method. We are being very careful, obviously, that we're not touching the skin or anything else with this blunt cannula. And it does take a little bit of time sometimes, so you have to be patient. But you just insert that blunt cannula into that hub and it'll happen and kind of check and see where you're at. We're going to say that this is all the blood that we need. So I'm going to cap that. I'm going to take out my catheter. This, uh, that's fine. I'm not bleeding. I'll prep my culture bottle, wiping 15, waiting 15. We'll simulate that. Change my needle because the blunt cannulas don't work in culture bottles. Mm 